So let's spend a little bit of time talking about the flaval ligament thickening. So when the flaval ligament gets thicker and we see that in the, on an image, what do you expect in the clinic? Well, you can expect to see a dynamic stenosis or a soft stenosis. A dynamic stenosis is a stenosis where the pain will come and go. It's not always there. If the pain down the leg is always there, then it's more of a static stenosis. But when it's dynamic, it can become from the flaval ligament thickening, the facet joint hypertrophy. But when it's static, you're looking more at facet arthrosis or you're looking at some impingement constantly occurring onto that nerve root. The, and one way to look at this flaval ligament is you can see on this side, it looks relatively normal. It's not very thick. But compare this side to the other side, and this is way thicker. There's starting to be that stenosis or that impinging, that encroachment onto that aspect where you don't see a lot of that nerve root going through there. So you'll see on this side, it's a little bit on that left side of the image, but the right side of the patient, it is thicker than the left side. But the good news, this can be reversed. This can be reversed. That flaval ligament can be reduced or thinned out by doing traction in a 90-90 position for 15 to 30 minutes. That prolonged traction can help thin that flaval ligament out by stretching it apart and reducing that dynamic stenosis. And when we do the stenosis or we do the traction to reduce that stenosis, we then have our patients perform neural neuro flossing immediately after the traction, only for one minute, and this should not cause any pain. So here's an example of that flaval ligament as well. This aspect right here, this structure right here is that flaval ligament. And if this, you can see, if this ligament starts to get thicker on one side or the other, it'll start to take up some space where that nerve root needs. So this is a great example of the flaval ligament thickening. So when you start to notice these things when your patients bring them in, these are all aspects that you can teach them. Hey, I know you see this little impingement here and how there's less space on one side than the other, but the good news is we can fix this. We can get this to go away.